Hi, and welcome to video number seven. In this video, you're going to sh be shown a WordPress plugin that will make your site more mobile friendly. Now, there is just one WordPress plugin that we're going to go over, and that is called the WordPress Mobile Edition. It's one of the top WordPress plugins, and I'm going to show you how to install it. it the installation process is a little different than the other WordPress plugins, but I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. And fortunately for you, the mobile file edition really doesn't require you to do a whole lot. So that's, that'll be convenient for you. So let's go ahead and get started and download the WordPress mobile edition. So what I want you to do is go to google.com and type in WordPress mobile edition and you'll see the link at the top. So go ahead and click that. And then the next thing you need to do is download the version. Now, when you install the WordPress Mobile Edition, it's a little different than other plugins, so pay close attention. So what you need to do is download this. Then once you download that, then you don't really upload the folder and activate it yet. You need to go to the folder and you need to read the readme.txt. Now, if you follow this video, I'll show you how to do it step by step. Okay, so this is the readme file, and as you can see, it has a three-step installation. It says, number one, you need to drop the wp-mobile PHP file in your WP content plugins directory. So let's go ahead and do that. Right now, I've got my file FTP manager up, and you will see within the plugin folder that there's a file called wp-mobile. So I need to go ahead and upload that, which I've done right now. The second step, it says drop the Carrington Mobile version directory in your themes directory. Okay, so this is a little different. We're working with plugins and themes. So I'm going to go up further and find the themes folder. And then I'm going to upload the Carrington, as you can see here, here. Now it has 120, 112 files, but they're really small files. Step three, it says then click the activate link for the mobile edition on your plugins page. So as I'm waiting for that to upload, I'm going to go ahead and go over here and I want to go to the plugins page so I'm going to refresh that now that I'm at the plugins page all I need to do is click activate and there you go so I have successfully activated that now what I need to do is go to the settings so that I can see the file Let's see here And you will notice it under the mobile link. So this is mobile, the WordPress mobile edition. So as you can see here, these are just compatible browsers that it's compatible with. And really most people have the iPhone, iPod, Android, and Blackberry, and so forth. So this pretty much covers the main browsers so we're pretty much set to go with that now you'll notice that it hasn't really changed any yet right but if you go to the appearance section and manage themes you can actually see what it looks like if you preview the Carrington mobile theme so let's go ahead and look at that for now So this is what it's going to look like when somebody has a mobile phone and they look at our site. So we can activate the Carrington mobile theme. And the good thing about this theme is as you can see if somebody goes to your site they're going to see the following but if they want to exit the mobile edition they can do that. And there's really not much to this WordPress in terms of what you have to do, so that's very convenient for you.